got a really good look at Vietnam kit to be honest with you. Hey guys, it's Minx here, hope you're doing well. This is another game a lot of you guys have been recommending lately. Uh, this is Turga Pressure, I think it's said. Probably, maybe, possibly, I don't actually really know how you say it. Before we start, I want to do a big shout out to our Patreon supporter, Ina Grigio. Thank you so much for the continued support. Really, really means a lot. Thank you. Shout out to our producer, Alice, of course, as well. Her links are popping on screen right now. Make sure you give her the love that she deserves. It's pretty much thanks to Patreon that these videos happen. Uh, we are a little bit short of our goal this month for the first time in a while, so if you are enjoying the content here, consider subscribing. There's exclusive playthroughs, exclusive streams, lots and lots of cool shit. There's, there's literally so many rewards, we put a ton of effort into it, so check it out if you enjoy the content here and you want to see more. Anyway, let's jump into this game, shall we? Let's have a good time. Begin, I think. Okay. Stare at objects to scan for data. Press M to unlock your crosshair. Oh, we're a drone? Oh, I see. Directive, recover dive team alpha. I see. A large coral colony. Spectropic analysis reveals the polyps of the colony are undergoing complex mutagenesis. This doesn't sound good. So we are a drone. How do I turn? I wasn't really paying attention. There we go. Beautiful. Flawless, in fact. This is really, really unusual. There was a game that was set in space that made me violently motion sick so I couldn't play it. Oh, this is creepy. I'm guessing Dive Team Alpha are not going to be in a good state considering the games that you've recommended lately. Chunks of grating appear to litter a small section of the floor. Analysis of the cut edges reveals that this was done with trioxide torch. Stop breathing. I'm a drone, sure, but I don't appreciate being breathed there, okay? Like, if I had a choice, I would say, don't breathe at me. Oh my god, the fucking PS1 style textures. I do really like the haunted PS1 sort of resurgence, you know what I mean, lately? I think the PS1 and PS2 were like the horror machines where the best horror games are. Speaking of which, we have a long play coming soon. Curse Eye of Isis, an Egyptian-themed PS2 horror that was voted for by our patrons. That'll be on YouTube within the week, I would say. Pretty interesting stuff. Okay, I really don't like that noise. I also don't like the fact that that painting over there is like skipping in and out of existence. I say painting, whatever the fuck it is. Okay, wants to scan this for some reason. Commonly used to warn of a wet surface. Wow. Home safety. Conserve project. Save your eyes. Wear goggles. I mean, none of this seems totally out of the ordinary. What about the one that's like skipping in and out of existence? Be careful. Just like safety PSAs. Okay, that noise is really, really, really fucking strange and I don't like it. Oh god, we have to go deeper. We need to go deeper. I, I like that game. Hello? It's gonna be it. There better not be like a fucking shark or something. Okay, this... Alright. So, so far the structure of the base has been fairly normal. But I feel now things are getting a little strange. Oh! Hi! Morning Cube. It's alive. I think the other stuff says, 
Ah, uh, get me the fuck out of here. Ah. Uh. Same here. The human body is like a hive. I'm gonna weigh up the pros and cons here and say that, uh, recovering die team alpha is probably not gonna be a thing. The den mother reshapes all. She better be hot. And she better do the ara ara thing, you know what I mean? I can totally get on board with that. Hi. You're really freaking me out. Hemoglobin cluster. That means red blood cells, right? They will be reborn from a womb of clay. I'm pretty sure these might be the dive team. Okay. 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 Anything behind you? No? Look how happy he is. Oh, okay, he's not very happy, but he would be happy. Theoretically, if he wasn't like, I'm like bleeding out his eyes and been turned into a cube of meat. Oh god, I'm actually genuinely nervous now. Okay, I do not like this. Like, I have a fear of water as it is. Like, deep water. You are a parasite waiting to suckle from the teat of God. That's an interesting quote. Oh, you're gonna say the same thing? You gotta have some variety to your hive mind. Yep. Yeah. The problem, the, the real question is, what size are God's tits, really? Like, that's, that's the thing that... Uh, uh, I cl I'm clenched. Oh God. God, are you here? Are you a numkin? I've got a feeling God's not gonna be a numkin, to be honest with you. This is like the abyss. I can't even really tell where I'm going anymore, by the way. I'm, I think I'm going down. Oh, I found the, the walls of the abyss. I'm not quite sure why everything's coloured like a kid's cartoon. Oh, hi, mummy! You look pretty! Fetus. It's not mummy. That is the baby. Diety mother cannot be recovered. Return to the base immediately. Okay. I'm doing my best, but there's a lot of text blocking my screen right now. Oh, what the fuck is happening? I don't even know- oh, okay. That was a giant baby. I thought it was going to be the mum, but it was a giant baby. A class alpha bioweapon has been detected. Please report- what the fuck? Okay, 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 okay. That was an interesting little experimental horror game. Like, there is not many games that manage to convey a story like that in such a short space of time, but that was genuinely creepy. I don't know if it's just because I'm absolutely fucking shit your pants, poopy poopy muck poop poop scared of uh, sort of like descending into an abyss of darkness uh, where untold uh, Lovecraftian horrors lurk around every corner waiting to insert their tentacles into every possible orifice including my ears, um, but that definitely was not, uh, something I particularly, uh, uh, liked in terms of, uh, shitting myself, essentially. But overall, not a bad little indie horror game, not a bad little, uh, short free-to-play, uh, indie horror game. There needs to be more things like that. I, if all, like, the fucking Ichio releases were like this, and, and like the games we've been playing recently, I think we played a bunch of really fucking good indie horror games this week. Like, you know, I think it would be a lot better. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. If you want to help us, hit that Patreon goal link is below. Long plays are coming.
just be a little bit more patient. I've got stuff going on at the moment that's a bit overwhelming uh, in real life, but I will be getting back to things soon. Um, for those wondering about my surgery, I'm going to be having it likely uh, the end of August, early September, it looks like now. So uh, I will be around for a while to come, but I will definitely be taking a little bit of a break once I've had my surgery, because, you know, otherwise I might die, which probably, I'm, I'm assuming most of you would think that would be a negative. Anyway, thanks for listening, everyone, and I'll see you soon for more spooky dookie, spooky dukes, spook, dook, 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 whatever, just like fucking, okay. I'll see you soon. Bye.